This tutorial will help you if you haven't yet installed Live onto your PC or Mac. However, if Live is already installed and running happily on your computer, you should feel smug, skip this section and go straight to the fun bit. Before we start on the installation procedure, let's have a look at the Ableton website and see the different options available for buying Live. There is the standard version, Ableton Live, the cut down version, Ableton Live Intro, and the extra large version, Ableton Suite. If you're planning to get into using the MIDI features of Live, then buying the suite is a good idea because it will give you the 10 Ableton instruments, providing you with a wealth of sounds and opportunities for writing your own music. If you plan to concentrate on solely using Live to DJ with other people's music, then you'll most likely find that the standard version is sufficient. The intro version is a good way to start off using Live, although you may quickly find that you want to upgrade because the number of inputs, outputs and effects are limited. Upgrading your version of the software is a very straightforward process and can be done at any time via the Ableton website. It is also worth mentioning that if you're a student or teacher, Live offers an educational discount. For more information on this, check the Education section of the Ableton website. To install Live onto Windows, follow the process that you would when installing any other program. Double click on the Ableton setup file and then follow the instructions. I would recommend using the default settings, which will place Live into your program files folder. I'm going to cancel this now because Live's already set up on this computer. If you use a Mac instead, you will find that installing Live onto Mac OS X is a very straightforward process. Find the installation folder from the disk or download, then open up your hard disk folder and drag the Live 8 folder onto the Applications folder on your hard disk. You can then create a shortcut into the OS X dock by opening the Applications folder and dragging the program icon to the dock. A shortcut will now be available to use and Live is set to go. I'm now going to double click on the Live icon to open up the program. You can see that the first thing that comes up is a dialog box asking you to authorise the software. This is done by Ableton to help protect them against software piracy. If you're not ready to do this yet, you can select Authorise Later. However, you will be unable to save or export from the program until you have completed the authorisation procedure. The easiest way to authenticate the program is by connecting to the internet and then following the link authorisewithableton.com. This will take you directly to the Ableton website and it's a straightforward process to quickly authenticate the program. You may find that you're unable to do this because you don't have an internet connection available on your music computer. If this is the case, then instead click on no internet on this computer. The next box will give you a unique hardware code that has been generated for your computer. Click on the Save button next to this and then save this file to a USB data stick or a CD so that you can transfer it to a computer with the internet. If you have bought Live from a retailer, then you will need your serial number as well. Once you have these files, go to www.ableton.com forward slash authorised to download the authorization file for your computer. You can now transfer this file back to your computer to complete the authorization procedure. If you have any problems, either go to the support section of the Ableton website, or if that doesn't help, contact them by email at support at ableton.com. You should try to get into the habit of regularly checking for any updates to live at the Ableton website. These will periodically update any bugs and issues that have been identified by users. The easiest way to do this is to follow the link on the help menu, which takes you straight to their website and allows you to quickly check if you're up to date. This is the end of the section on installation. You're now ready to work at becoming a DJ with Ableton Live.